Reflexes are slowing down. I want what that man has, Vernon. And I will have it. Attendez, s'il vous plaît. Votre correspondance, Merci, voilà. Merci, votre classe. Ah, très bien, j'ai du progrès, hein. But, um, you do not think it impertinent, monsieur, but um, what is it? Well, that, that's, uh, that's uh, chopped liver going around oh. and uh, chicken soup. Sans blague. And uh, pickled herring. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> it's from my Aunt Olga. Ah, votre tante. Uh, huh? If I'm not in a kitchen, she thinks I'm starving to death. Oh. She doesn't know that this food can kill you. Oh, but not in this hotel. Huh? We hope not. <laughs> What's that? Kiss, kiss, a pass. What's going on? Oui, 
Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Excuse me. I'm terribly sorry. That's all right. Relax. Mrs. Rudyard! What? You're welcome. Hmm. Uh, excuse me, please. Would you thank me? Susie, hi. Danny! Danny Wright, how nice to nice see you. Nice to see you. What are you doing here? Well, guess what? <laughs> you got engaged. I got married. Oh, oh, that's Darling, wonderful. Darling, come and meet an old friend of yes. mine, Danny Wise. Mm. This is my husband, Frank Wager. Hello, Frank. A pleasure to meet you. Congratulations to the both of you. Thank Susie's you. told me a lot about oh, you, Danny. All bad, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, will you? <laughs> you don't mind me kissing the bride, I'm sure. Uh, we're going to be staying here for a couple oh, of weeks. Why don't wonderful. we get together for oh, some yes, evening? Why don't we do it? Maybe have drinks or good. Uh, dinner yeah, or something. Let's, good. Good. let's get away from the well, crowd. Nice to see you. Goodbye, darling. Goodbye, uh, goodbye, uh, Frank. Why aren't I invited to weddings? You know why? With any luck, they'll invite you on the honeymoon. Six weeks ago. Look at him. Thank you. Watch. Huh? How are you doing, pal? Oh, well, well. Is that your new suit? Does it mate with your approval? Oh, my compliments to your butcher. Wonderful. <laughs> As a matter of fact, it's made from the tail hairs of a rare midget Mongolian llama. Oh, wonderful. But when that llama finishes making the coat, maybe he'll make your shoulder purse. <laughs> <laughs> your tail has a sense of humor, too. <laughs> Daniel, did you bathe this morning? Oh, no, that's uh, that's a Hungarian salami. Oh, Aunt thing. Sadie. <laughs> <laughs> that's who it is, yeah. Well, you finished with the insult jokes? Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, uh, yeah, sure. Here, would you send it up to my room, please? May I take your wand? Oh, yes, be careful. It uh, may turn you into a human being. Oh. Uh, well, oh, I can't wait to, wait to see this one. Yo, it's doing great! Oh, look at him go! Did we win? We lost. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's four losers in a row. I don't believe it. You're getting better. Well, I tell you, we better pick out an omen here. Sit down. Just sit down. Yeah. Let's see if we can find an omen. Here we go. Hey, I found an omen. Oh? Bim Bam. Why is that an omen? Bim Bam. When I was 18 years old, I knew a girl named Gretchen. When you were 80. Oh, yeah. you have a remarkable memory. And she was big, and she kind of looked a little like a horse. I'm sure it can be a winner. Yeah. Bim Bam. What's that going to do with it? Bim Bam. Don't you know anything? I mean, what did you learn in those fancy schools? Pardon? Nothing at all. Yes. Excuse moi. Yes, thank you. Bim Bam. How do you do? Oh, Daniel. Yes. I uh, see you got the bird again. Huh? Suzanne Valen, eh, my eh? Yes. Suzanne Valen, daughter of the infamous Marquis de Valen, yeah? Honeymooning in Paris with her American millionaire husband, Frank Wager. Hmm. Susie's a nice girl. I oh, say so she's improving on her father. Well, what her father did was what he did. She had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Merely quote from the history books. Listen, he did a bad thing, or supposedly did a bad thing. Why should uh, those crimes be visited on the girl? Hmm. She's a nice girl. Oh, by the way, I think I have figured out a new system. What's that? We're going to bet losers. That's what we've been doing ever since we got here. Let's go down and have a drink first. I want this man killed. All right. Look at it, man. Look at it. In the background, the man holding the bird. His name is Wilde. Daniel Wilde. Werner has established that much. He is staying at the Hotel Plaza Athene. Posing as an American um, playboy. I want him dead. And I want the bird he is holding. Simplicity itself. I hope so. But Luther, we want nothing to lead back here. I am not an amateur. You may depend upon me. We have none of that heel clicking nonsense here. Just results, Luther. Too much heel clicking that lost us the war. Luther! You show great confidence, Luther. Perhaps because you look at me and you see an old man. Because Werner is not as young as he was. 
Show him we are still dangerous, Vernon. Good luck, Luther. A fool, Vernon. Yes, sir. Follow him. Let him accomplish his work, then. End the contract. Very good, sir. I don't know. They hung up as soon as I answered. Oh. Hey, you couldn't be two-timing me already, could you? Like if a man answers, hang up. Frank, you're the most generous man I ever met. Mm -hmm. You better believe it. All right. Mm It's not an invitation, just an abbreviation, Sinclair. Come on, it's down. lovely that you're in Paris. I didn't know, but it's lovely that you are. I've been so bored, I can't tell you. I've been fantastic, but the collections are absolutely awful. It's lovely to see you. Well, you've got yourself a nice hat. Oh, yes. Sir, nothing for the moment. I'm waiting for a friend. Oh, I, really I see you have been having a little excitement here in the hotel. I saw the photograph. Oh, yes, sir, that's Mr. and Mrs. Wager. And Danny was here, too. Hmm? Well, I'm not mistaken, am I? That is Danny Wilde. Oh, yes, sir, that's Mr. Wilde. Yes, I thought so. Would you bring me a telephone, please? Yes. Danny looks good in anything. Promise you, Prue, my suite has one of the most exciting views of all of Paris. We'll have a, one drink and go up and I'll show you. Huh? The view is not just an excuse to get me up to your room, is it, Sin? Prue, how good. Suite 211, like please. Hmm? Yes, that is Mr. Wilde's suite, isn't it? It's not. 405. How did I come to make a mistake like that? Operator, don't bother. Mr. Wilde has just come into the lobby. Then, darling, you do understand that I'm only coming up to your room to look at the view, don't you? I'm sorry, what were you saying? Is the view an excuse, Sin? Yes. Oh, Sin, you know I'm not that sort of a girl. Look, I tell you what, I'll take a picture of you and send you one. I may not be that sort of a girl, but the least you could do is try and persuade me. Mr. Schwartz, you got the wrong room, you. Coming, one sec, one second. Yeah, right, what is it? Mr. Wilde? That's me. Oh. Oh, excuse me.
Okay, come on, now tell me, what happened? Oh, very little. I simply explained to the police how I happened to be dancing in the street with a dead man. I see. Now, will you explain to me who was the guy? His name was Siegfried Luther, and the chances are there was uh, nothing personal in him wanting to kill you. Listen to me, you English dum-dum. What is more personal than a bullet between the eyes, my eyes, huh? Uh, will you listen? I'm listening. The police believe he was a hired gun. Oh. And what do you believe? Well, I believe that having tried once and failed, they could very well try again with somebody else. Oh. Well, I'm going to take out more insurance. Hello. Yes, speaking. Sorry, speak up, please. What? Well, no. No, I cannot now. Who is it? Hello. Who was that? <gasps> oh, um, wrong room. Nothing. Oh, I see. Oh, dear, I, I don't have any more postcards. I'd better go and get some. Well, I'll call room service and have no, some. don't bother, darling. I'll go down to the lobby. It won't take a minute, really. Susie? Yes? Are you all right? Yes. I've never been happier. Expecting to meet me in the lobby. In my line of business, the unexpected is safer. Who are you? Never mind me, it is you that matters. The daughter of the infamous Marquis de Verlaine. The great traitor. Isn't that what they call him? The man that sold France to the Germans? That is not true. The world believes it. I don't care. Do you care enough to prove that he was not a traitor? Of course, it will cost a lot of money. But then you have a very rich husband. I wouldn't ask my husband for money. I couldn't. Think about it. I will be in touch. Do not follow me. I am an old hand. to a man's room alone before. You do believe me, don't you? Yes, if you believe that I've never asked a woman to my room before. <laughs> to be sure. Oh, uh, OK. Yeah. OK. 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 What are you talking about?
it's really cool, Sin, because I'm feeling really warm. Thanks, I get for saving you. Thanks. Life. Thanks a lot. Well, oh, Daniel, someone is awfully determined. It's twice in one day. Yeah, twice. Why? Who? Why are they trying to kill me? You haven't been doing anything without me, have you? Not at all. Who could it be? Why? But I'll tell you one thing. I'm not leaving, and neither are you, until we find out who these people are. If it kills me. Daniel, I... Sorry if I woke you, Mrs. Wager, but then you have had time to think about it. Are you interested? Good. I thought you might be. Then you will get your instruction. But can't you tell me any more now? Hello. Hello. Well, I shouldn't imagine they'll try anything again tonight, oh, so I, I suggest you curl up with a good book. Oh, I, it's something else I'd rather curl up. Right, uh, oh, and by the way, should they try and kill you, please do it quietly, because you're playing absolute havoc with my love life. Well, I didn't mean to. Good night, Dad. Good night, and thank you very much. Please shut the door. There's Doesn't that horrible it. little man. He keeps what? calling on the phone. All right, all right. He wants a lot of money. Yes, and now you I just, can't tell well, Frank. He wouldn't understand. Just calm down. <gasps> Wait a minute. I've heard a lot about your reputation, Wild. Until now, I thought it was just hearsay, idle gossip. But now, stay away from my wife. What was that all about? Are you going to let my erotic little mind run wild? Well, hmm? That one was uh, a, a little more social than the last. Uh, they're oh. good friends. Uh. Well, you should keep out of people's honeymoon. Well, it wasn't that. You see, we had a uh, problem. I we hate had... you! What? Prove! <laughs> Prove! I'm not moving. Daniel, this has uh, not been one of our better days. It was stupid and ill-planned. Fortunately, the, the situation is not irremediable. I have brought in the help we need. May I ask who? Trotsky. That snake. He's good. Extremely good. He is a savage. But good. He takes a pride in his work. And when does he arrive? He's here already. <laughs> snake. You say that I am a savage, and yet you, both of you, you bellow and you wallow like a couple of cattle in the field. Yes, 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 we all know your views, Grosky, but 
How do you intend to deal with this man Wilde? Now, let me see if I've got the situation clearly in my mind first. Now, then this Mr. Wilde has an object that, uh, that you want desperately, right? Yes, you have seen the newspaper photograph. And the merely possessing of this object gives him some knowledge which is dangerous to you. Therefore, he has to be silenced. Precisely. Well, I don't see what the problem is. It seems quite simple to me. <laughs> Get him on the phone. I will issue him with an invitation that he cannot refuse. Now, meanwhile, some of my employees will offer him an irresistible sum of money. And then, when I have the bird in my hands, I will... Uh... Thank you. They're ringing his room now. Uh, Mr. Wilde, please listen very carefully to what I have to say to you. Okay. Now, the attempts on your life, they have not ended. They will try again. Mm-hmm. Now, if you do business with me, your worries about your life will be ended. You will find my terms are most generous. <laughs> Would you like to discuss it with me? Oh, I would say around about 100,000 francs is a very nice round figure. Oh, as round about as you can get. Yeah, I like it. Oh, uh, where, uh, you just tell me where and when and I'll be there. Right. In, a, uh, in how long? In an hour. Okay, I'll find you. Goodbye. Now, I want the purchase he, he to... agreed. Naturally, you agreed. Now, I want this purchase to look as genuine as possible, so uh, I need the money. No, don't, don't, don't worry about it. Uh, it'll be returned when it's all over. Arrange it, Fernand. Now, I must brief my associates. That's it. I think I'd better go in first. Give me a couple of minutes, and when you do come in, you don't know me. Okay. Again. How could you tell? Shall we sit down? Would you like to frisk me again? How about me frisking you? We thought you'd rather do business where there are lots of people well, around. Not really, not really. But, uh, if you insist, I'll oh, no. well, you. you might have become suspicious if we'd picked an isolated spot. Yeah, I probably would have become suspicious. Now, what would you like to do? Have you got it? Uh, yeah, but yes, I've got it right here. I thought it would be quite bulky. Well, um, 
How bulky could it be? I mean... I don't know. I've never seen it. Believe me, it's not very bulky. Here no. is our side of the deal. Yes. It's all there. Thank you very much. Uh, what about your side of it? Oh, crafty creature. I have it right here in my pocket. Excuse me, but this is money, right? So is this? Well, I, I'm not here to buy any money. I mean, I've well, got money. I there got... are lines crossed somewhere. Well, I'll say there is, but why would I want to buy money? I mean, what I'm... are you selling? Well, I'm not selling anything. I'm buying. That's why I brought the no, money. I mean, I'm buying. Well, then whoever's selling isn't selling, right? I mean, I've got an idea. You know what we ought to do? Let's go to the door and come in again where you were frisking me. I'm sure. Now where are you going? Just wait a minute. Hey, I'll hold on to this to make sure you come back. And don't let me catch you frisking anybody. Hmm. What on earth is happening? <laughs> I've met the most wonderful frisk. Oh, bully for you. Excuse me, I believe there has been some sort of misunderstanding. Well, I'm, I'm just looking for the guy that tried to kill me and I'm willing to pay for that information. That's all. Excuse me. Yes, Wes, I wish to buy a bird. What bird? What you, this bird here, you've got in your hands, this one. Well, that's not my bird. The guy be standing behind the photographer was his bird. He dropped it, I picked it up, and they took a photograph of it. That's the whole story. You mean, says this is an error? Oh, uh, yes, that's what it is. It's a dumb cops are fools. Yeah, there really are fools about it. Oh, believe it. I'm afraid, Mr. Wilde, that this error is going to have to be rectified. Right, well, here, here's your money. Rectify it. <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing out of your mind? Afraid people are out here. I'm afraid, Mr. Barr. Yes. I'm sorry to say, but yes. you, you already uh, know too much about this. Well, I don't really think so, but that's all right. Whatever I, you say. I want you to understand that yes. I don't like doing this to you. You understand? Yes, yes I understand that. So I tell you what I want you to do. Yes. I want you to go towards those stairs. You understand right. that? Right. Now, remember, there's going to be a gun on you right. all the way. Right. So no nonsense. This understand? is yours. Oh, well, thank you, Andy. Now, you, you go ahead. Yes. Wait, wait, wait. What for? The money! Thank you. Cabaret time over. Come on, Your Highness. That was beautiful. Ah, farce. Your stupidity has made me look foolish. After seeing the photograph, it was a logical assumption to believe that Wilde had the bird. In my business, I need certainties, not assumptions. And I need assistance and not criticism. We have lost time. We need to move quickly now. Move? But where? We have no idea of the identity of the man who has the bird. Perhaps. But we do know there are only two people in the world who would be interested in purchasing it. Myself. And the daughter of the Marquis de Villain. Precisely. When he makes his approach to her, we shall know of it. A bird. All this has happened because of a bird. That is the seventh time you said that. A bird. They try to kill me because of a bronze bird. Which only goes to prove how dangerous it can be to go around picking up strange birds. It's a case of a mistaken bird, you know. A mistaken identity. <laughs> you know, I had an ancestor once who was mistaken for someone else. I got news for you. I don't want to hear about it. Oh, the Marquis of uh, Castle Hare. Oh, really? Uh, you can finish your eggs. No, no, please, eat it. Keep your mouth shut. <clears throat> no, this was ages ago, the time of the French Revolution. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hear about it. He and his wife were doing the grand European tour, and when they got here to Paris, the carriage was surrounded by a mob of angry, revolting peasants. You see, 
My ancestor bore the most uncanny resemblance to Louis XV. Before he could deny the fact, the uh, mob dragged him off to the guillotine. Did that really happen? Hmm. Yeah. There he was with his head on the block. The blade poised to fall. Right. Get up. When his wife burst through the mob and explained the entire situation. She saved his life, huh? Mm -mm. She couldn't speak French. She married again shortly afterwards. You do that to me every time. And I let him get away with it. Well, now, let's uh, get down to solving your case. The facts as I see it are, you bumped into a man. Oh, excuse me, you got the facts wrong. This man bumped into me. His case fell open. I reached down, picked up his stuff. And got photographed in the process. Uh, right, holding this bronze bird. <laughs> it's apparent to me that the man they really want is the one you bumped into. Exactly. Which one's here in the picture? Well, he's hid by the photographer. You can't see him. Mm. That's a great pity. Yes, it is. Because he's the, uh, the key to the whole thing. You must yeah. find him. Well, how am I going to find a man I saw for a couple of seconds in Paris? I mean, you've got to be kidding. I saw a film. Yeah. That's the wrong paper. I think you've got it. What? Got come what? on, come on. She couldn't speak. The Duke of Dukesbury, whatever her name is. You are sure this device will work? Of course it will work. I use only the most sophisticated electronic equipment. You searched the whole place thoroughly. Yes. This morning, they went down to breakfast. The girl has not got the bird. It's, listen, yeah? Isn't it? Hello? I am ready to talk business now, Mrs. Wager. Why don't we meet? When and where? Just tell me that. One hour from now. Apartment 9, what a thing. A briefcase fell on the ground. Some of the letters fell out of it. This is an enlargement of an address that was on one of the letters. It's wonderful. Mm. Excellent. Mm. That is about as big as I can enlarge the section. Wonderful. Any good? Oh, excellent. Nine Bois de Seine. Uh, number nine. Enough and pretty grotty. Well, fold up the map, Pathfinder. Smells awful. Are you kidding? Smell it, it's ambrosia. <sighs> Are you sure some of your aunts didn't pack their food parcels here? Very funny, very, very funny. Uh, now, what makes you think it's up there? Well, there's a door. I believe in starting at the top. Oh, oh, Danny! I don't want to go inside, it's horrible. Daniel, Daniel, please. If you wish my unqualified opinion, this is a very, very dead corpse. Is it the Birdman? I mean, was it the Birdman? Yeah, that's him, all right. Oh. It looks like the bird has flown the coop. Would you uh, mind if I asked your friend a few questions? Oh, ask her anything you want. Go ahead. My friend is your friend. Go right up and ask her. Go ahead. 
Mrs. Wager. Well, uh, who was he? I never knew his name. He kept telephoning me, so I arranged to meet him. But when I arrived, he was... he was like that. Well, if you'll forgive a pertinent question, why did you want to meet him? Because he said he could prove my father's innocence. Innocence? Uh, innocence of what? Haven't you heard the story? No, he doesn't know it. Tell him the story. I make it a golden rule never to listen to gossip. Why don't you fill me in on the facts? There's not much to it, really. After the fall of Berlin, some papers were found, secret papers. They proved that a titled member of the French government was a traitor. Someone would help push through French surrender. So, uh, they made her father the fall guy. You see, there was going to be a hearing, but he killed himself before it happened. And they took it as an admission of his guilt. Well, did you know this? I know everything. Well, uh, <clears throat> what was the evidence, if any, that he had? I don't know. He only told me he was willing to sell it to me for a lot of money. I just came in through here and... First I didn't see him, then I went round the bed and... I saw that he was dead. Well, Daniel, unless you took a crash course in pathology, I don't think there's anything left for us to do. Seems me. What are you doing? Oh, I saw a film on fingerprints, fingerprints. I'm wearing gloves. Stanley. Oh, I wish I'd never seen the film. He signed it, Fernand. Look, see, his hand actually touched it. Well, may I? Careful, careful with it. He did you great honor, sir. Yes, but uh, he also put you in a spot, huh? I mean, if uh, that had got into the wrong hands, they would have hanged you. And that is a very vulgar way to die. So many years waiting, searching. And now it's mine. And to think that he signed it. But we must destroy it. Destroy this? Destroy it? Yes, of course. It will have to be destroyed. The Rolls Royce. Where? What? Well, that's the common factor. There's always a common factor. What are you talking about? This may seem pretty well, but I think I'm onto something. Yeah, probably a little more shampoo. Yeah, right, pal. Anything. You remember the man I chased out onto the street who got shot? Uh, I'll never forget him. Well, parked just down the street was a Rolls Royce. Oh, well, there are a lot of Rolls Royce in the neighborhood, you know. That's nothing. Uh... Yes, but not like this. It was an old red sedan de Ville. I think I saw it again today. Where? Well, it was parked just down the street from where the bird man was killed. Well, maybe we can trace it. Maybe we can uh, find it or something, huh? No, them, them. There's bound to be more than one. I tell you who could help us. Who's that? Well, there's a man in Paris who looks after my Uncle Charles's Rolls Royces oh, when cool. he's on the continent. Oh, nice for him. Hmm. Even when he's not. Hmm. I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to check out this Marquis de Villania. Is that his name? Yes. yes. By the way, Daniel, yeah. did I ever tell you about my Uncle Charles? Your Uncle Charles, you've told me a lot about your Uncle Charles. Right? Fourteen wives, too, from what I understand. <laughs> yeah, that's probably right. <laughs> you say that. that. If you haven't got a gun, come in. My pal, I got absolutely nothing here. Well, I obtained a list, but not much help. It reads like a list of the French 400. Le Duc de Valais, uh, Comtesse Ferronac, Le Comte Masso, Baron Corot, La Duchesse Severet, etc., etc., etc. Wait a minute. I ran across one of these names a minute ago. No, well, what about the Marquis de Villene? Uh, anything new? No, nothing, nothing. Uh, we knew everything. Wait a minute. Here it is. Look. Count Clement Marceau was a member of the government at the time of the capitulation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means he served with uh, Susie's old man, right? Yes, well, it's a link, I suppose, but a pretty tenuous one. Well, we haven't got anything else, have we, pal? Uh, what's his address, do you know? Time for you to go to bed, sir. Yes. Yes, there no. Bed. I'm cold, Vermo. I'm cold. 
to burn it, sir. It's gone there now. The furnace. It's just so much molten metal now. So, no one can touch me now. No one. Shall we? I really should have my head examined. Thrashing around in the middle of a French jungle. Hey, hey, hey. This way. Oh, this way. What are you talking about? This obviously this way. the quickest way. It's this way. Oh, Daniel, will you kindly defer Look, to my uh, obvious superior wisdom? Look, while you were using big words, we could have been there. This is the way. You want to bet? You know, I get sick and tired of taking you money from bet, you. You want to bet, bet, uh, Conditions? You got it. The same as always. Ready, get set, go. so fast. I simply yeah. rang the front doorbell. Well, that's cheating. Uh, certainly not. Yes, it is. However, you will be happy to know, Daniel, that my plan has one little flaw. Yeah, what is it? Him. Good evening. Well, good evening. Nice to see you again. I presume you're wondering why I didn't warn you yes. when he made all sorts of threats about wanting to kill me and you <laughs> know how sensitive I am about dying. Yes, of course I know. Well, <laughs> what are we going to do now? I'll ask him. Oh, well, I'll tell you. I'm going to usher you through the doors of eternity. Or I shall help you shuffle off this mortal coil. I think he's going to kill us. I think so, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. But with great beauty and dignity. Uh, well, excuse me. If it's all the same to you, we'd rather not go in any event. Eh? Yes, sir. May I have one for the road? Please. Thank you. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Yes. What made that bird so important? Shut up! Ask a silly question, Daniel. So you have got them both. Well, now, there is a nice old well in the garden. Very deep. Oh, that's very good indeed. Now, gentlemen, excuse me. Will you come along with us, please? please. Cheers. Cheers. Say nothing. Say nothing. There is no evidence. That... You fool. You stupid old fool. I could not destroy it. He signed it. Excuse me. You read German. What does it say? Roughly translated, it says to Le Comte Marceau for his role in making France part of the glorious fatherland. You read signatures? Oh, Danny, I... I don't know how to thank you. It's wonderful. You're wonderful. <laughs> oh, she just thought of a way. <sighs> Daniel, with your luck, her husband will come walking. <laughs> oh. Daniel, hmm? that is not my hand. Oh. Oh, now, will you stop punching me? Oh, oh. Listen, you can't do that. But, Frank. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Please, but please, you have to understand. It just can't be. <coughs> I'm going to a monastery.
mystery. <laughs> well, count me out. They don't have girls there. The one I'm going to does. Oh, in that case, I might join you. <laughs>